The World Cup final has arrived and so has the third place playoff. Welcome to my third place playoff and World Cup final prediction. Yes guys, welcome back to another video on the channel and today, today I'm going to be giving my predictions for the World Cup third place playoff tomorrow and the big World Cup final on Sunday. It's been an incredible journey in this tournament. And I've loved every minute of it. Make sure to smash the like button, subscribe, and let's get in to the final World Cup predictions. Okay, then, and we will start off with the third place playoff, which is happening tomorrow at 3 p.m. at the Khalifa International Stadium. And it is Croatia against Morocco. Now, both teams did lose their semi finals. And to be honest, I think Morocco, I think they were the better team in the second half, in my opinion, against France. I think they deserve the score. But Croatia against Argentina, I think they were very, very poor, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, obviously these two have already played each other. And they played each other in game week one um, in the group stages. So this is the second time that they will play each other in this tournament. But Morocco still can create history to be the first African team to finish third. And they probably will create history anyway, because I don't think an African team has never finished in the top four at a World Cup. So they still have the chance to make history anyway. Um, which is brilliant to see. Um, but Croatia, I'm, I'm sure Morocco will know what Croatia are like. I'm sure Croatia will know what Morocco are like. Obviously, like I said, they have already played each other in this tournament. But Morocco, I think, you know, against France in the first half, I think, you know, I think looking at France, you know, you've got, I think the thing that Morocco struggled with, you know, you've got Mbappe, um, how have we heard Mbappe, Griezmann, Giroud, etc. They were just too good for Mor for that Morocco defence. But Morocco, like I said, they, they'll know what Croatia will be like. So I think well Morocco in this tournament they've been very defensive. They don't want to get they don't want to let many goals in and they want to score goals. And that's what they've been doing recently. They did it against Spain and they did it against Portugal in that quarter final. So I think I think they do have a chance but Croatia um against Argentina when they did go behind Croatia I really did expect Croatia to fight back and score and they didn't Croatia I don't think I'll really be bothered with this match so I actually won't be surprised if Morocco win this one and uh I think it's going to be high scoring I'm going to go I think it goes to actual time but I think it do it should do anyway I'm going to go after 120 minutes Croatia 2 Morocco 2 on the match you're going to go Morocco to win on penalties so I think Morocco are going to win the third place playoff. Okay then. <clears throat> okay then. And it is time. It is time for my prediction for Sunday's World Cup final. France against Argentina. What a game this is going to be. It is Didier Deschamps versus Lionel Scaloni. It's Kylian Mbappe versus Lionel Messi, it's Europe against South America, it's France versus Argentina, and the World Cup trophy, will it be heading back to Paris, or will it be heading to Buenos Aires for the first time since 1986, and it is, this game is a big game, you know, every time the final comes around, it's always, a, it's always, um, there's always a massive preview for it, I will be doing a preview for this game by the way, um, if you wanted to know, but it, this is going to be a very difficult game to predict. You know, both te both France and Argentina are two brilliant teams. They've got players in their sides. You know, you've got, for France, you've got Kylian Mbappe, Olivier Giroud, Antoine Griezmann, Usman, Usman Dembele, all the Untuchumeni. You've got David Upamecano, Rafael Varane, Hugo Lloris, um, Tara Hernandez, um, Jules Koundé, Hugo Lloris, I've already said Lloris, I think. But Argentina, you've got Lionel Messi, You've got Rodrigo de Paul. You've got Christian Romero, Taglafico, Taglafico, um, and etc. So I'm just right. I'm just replying to a message. I'm just replying to a message. Sorry about that. But yeah, like I said, Taglafico, Romero, Martinez, etc. Um, but yeah, both teams have got some fantastic players, and I'm sure both teams will want to go for it. Um, Argentina. I was just wondering, have I seen the real Argentina yet? And I finally did see the real Argentina on Tuesday against Croatia. In my opinion, they absolutely dominated Croatia. Because when Argentina scored, I really didn't expect Croatia to fight back and try to score. And they didn't. Argentina did absolutely amazing. France, though, on the other hand, first half, 
Well, in that France-Morocco game, in my opinion, it was probably a game of two halves. France was a better team in the first half, but in the second half, it was all Morocco. They really Morocco easily could have taken that to extra time. They probably should have, um, to be honest. But yeah, but I think Argentina. I think that uh, you know France. There's a few. There's a. I think Giroud in the box. Olivier Giroud in the box. Argentina got to be careful with that. He Giroud can be deadly in the box, and you got out wide Kylian Mbappe and Dembele. They can whip a ball in the box. They can drive, put a low ball into the box, and you got Griezmann in the middle. He can you know play it out to Mbappe, play it out to Dembele, or he can play it forward to Giroud. So France, they've actually got a decent attack. You know, Argentina, Messi, come on. France have got to try stopping, you know. And also another player as well, Julian Alvarez. I think he had a very, very good game against Croatia. Um, but Messi and Alvarez are the two players. So France defensively have got to watch out for them too. Alvarez, like I said, very good performance against... Um, very good performance against Croatia. This is going to be a very good game. Both teams will want to go for it. I'm going to give... My prediction now, and my prediction is France 2, Argentina 2, after 120 minutes of football. We're going to go to penalties, and I think the winner of the 2022 FIFA World Cup is going to be Argentina. Yes, I think Argentina is going to win the World Cup. Messi is finally going to win the trophy. He has been wanting for some time. And is is that the debate over? If Messi wins on Sunday, is the debate over? Who knows? But yeah, guys. So you've seen so you've heard my predictions, I think. So I think Morocco is gonna finish third. Well I'll tell you that. So I think Croatia's gonna finish fourth. Morocco third. France second. And I think the winners is going to be Argentina. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to smash the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.